Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we have iOS 14.6 Beta 1 released to all developers, and yes, the official version of iOS 14.5 isn't even out yet, but it will be next week, so stay tuned for more news on that release. But in the meantime, we do have Beta 1 for iOS 14.6 to check out, and in this video, we'll give you a rundown of what's new and what to expect from iOS 14.6 from Apple. Okay, so going over the more basic details and the update size for my iPhone 12 Pro Max was 4.56 gigabytes. And we do in fact have a new build number as well. And that is 18F5046F. We also saw a new modem firmware in the about screen as well. And that new modem firmware is 1.70.03. Now, moving on to what's new, and honestly, I haven't found much in iOS 14.6 beta one, but what I did find is more relatable to the new products that were just launched at the latest Apple spring loaded event. What you'll first notice though, is that if you are on iOS 14.5 betas and you want to update to this new beta, there's now an option in the software update menu showing you that you now have that update available to you. Now, essentially this is how updates will look from now on when you have a major update available to you, but you haven't downloaded and installed it yet. It won't force you to update or leave a big red, annoying red notification on your settings app, but iOS will now notify you that there is a major update available and you can do so through that menu or even jump to certain updates versus others. So let's say um, there's an update for iOS 14.7 and you're on iOS 14.5, maybe you just wanna update to 14.6. If that option is available to you, you can now do that through the software update menu. Now, another new thing for updates and more specifically you beta testers out there is that you now don't have to remove a beta profile to update to official versions of iOS anymore. So from now on, you can maintain that beta profile and still get official updates. Now, do keep in mind though, that when we do come to iOS 15 betas, you'll likely need an entirely new beta profile for that release. So just remember that when you want to update to those betas, should you choose to do so coming this summer. Now past that, we do see a lot of UI changes that reflect the new products that we saw at the spring loaded event. I won't go over everything, but in the control center, we see the new Apple Siri remote that comes with the new Apple TV 4K device that was just released. And as you can see, it's just an updated icon to reflect the changes made to that remote. Also, if you go into the Find My App, there's now a UI dedicated for the AirTags product. So you can now see that there's an updated UI for that entire pairing process. And of course, you can manage those AirTags through the Find My App as well. Now, past those UI changes that were honestly very small, I haven't really seen anything else. And honestly, performance and battery life are exactly the same benchmarks wise. So there's not really too much to talk about when it comes to battery life and system performance. The reason for the lack of major new features in this release and obviously no changes to performance is really because iOS 15 is right around the corner. So when you come for expectations for iOS 14.6, just expect some UI updates for newer products like what we are already seeing and then updates to services that were recently announced like for Apple Podcasts, the Family Card program, and maybe some other tweaks to existing newer features that we've seen recently released in iOS 14.5. Just don't keep your hopes up high for major new features in iOS 14.6. So guys, that was the first developer beta of iOS 14.6. And of course, if you have any questions about this release, you can always leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to update to this beta and you don't know how, check the links down below to beta.apple.com for the public beta. And there's also another link where you can get developer beta profiles onto your device. You can check out what's new in this beta update. Now, if you want to stay up to date with any new channel content, definitely make sure to get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on when new content is released. If you do, however, want to follow me on Twitter for channel and beta updates, there's a link down below and there's also links to the updated podcast and some merch as well. So guys, that's it for today's video, but hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in some future content or on some social media platforms sometime soon. Until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.